How's it going everybody? This is Sean with Sense by Sean. I am joined here by my lovely cousin Kelly. She decided to join us today to check out a couple of fragrances. Are you excited? Looking yeah, forward to it. Cool. So you're are you big into like fragrances on guys or anything? Do you know a lot about I them? I like or? it when they have fragrance, but I don't know like Okay, cool. Well, we're going to so. learn you today. <laughs> we're going to show you some awesome fragrances. If you guys have clicked on the title, I'm sure you've already seen it uh, before. We are working with some Creed fragrances today. Very expensive, high-end, luxury <laughs> fragrances. Uh, so we might set a bit of a bar here for future boyfriends. So they yeah. might have to step up their fragrance game. So we're going to rate seven Creeds today, or she's going to rate seven Creeds today. Uh, she's going to pick her favorite one. We're going to get a rating on each one, and we're going to see her favorite. All right, so we're going to jump into the first <laughs> one, guys. Keep it right there. All right, guys, so we are back with our first fragrance. We are gonna let her get her nose on it and then we'll talk a little bit about which one it is. So there is that for you. This is our first one. Get a good whiff of that. Give me your first impressions. Do you like it? Do you not like it? And then we'll get a I like your it. Rating. I think it's a little bit strong though. Okay. These are strong fragr fair. fragrances, for sure. Yeah, it's definitely like lighter, kind of sweet almost. Yeah, okay. So this is a very soapy fragrance. This is called Royal Water. This is one of their, I'd say of the popular ones, this is one of their lower popularity ones. Yeah. So people like it, but there are a lot of others that people, when you think Creed, go for more than this. Yeah. Um, it's a very good summertime, very good spring, soapy, herbaceous, there's lots of herbs and things of that no nature. So we're starting off with Royal Water. You like it. Would you like this on a guy? Or maybe a little feminine? I think, yeah, it's well, a little bit feminine. feminine. It's yeah. not quite as masculine. So you probably, this would have to be maybe like a beach or like a, white floral shirt kind of fragrance. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, good, good. So what would you give this one out of 10? Probably a five out of 10. Five out of 10. Okay, so good, but um, I think we'll improve as we go along. Yeah. So Royal Water, guys, five out of 10. Let's check out our next one. All right, guys, we are on to fragrance number two. We're sticking with a little bit of like the warmer weather fragrances. So these are ones that are gonna be good for spring and summer. This is another strong freshy from the line. This is called Original Vetiver. What do you think of this one? This is definitely spring. Spring, Almost absolutely. Almost feels like flowers. Yes, this is very floral. It's a good note that you'd bring that up. Vetiver is like, it's a, it's a plant. So vetiver is a very grassy, very green kind of smell. Mm -hmm. They actually do something interesting and it's what their claim to fame with this fragrance is. They use the vetiver in three different ways. They use the root, they use the plant, they use the oil. So this is like vetiver, vetiver, vetiver. So if you like the freshness of this, that's a note you might like in other fragrances. Yeah. Would you like this one on a guy? I think just for special occasions, it has okay. to be like a really certain thing that sure. they're doing. I don't think this is like another day. Okay, original Bedford out of 10 on this one. I give this one probably a seven. Seven, okay. So you like this one a little bit better yeah. than Royal Water. Yeah. Do you think this one for spring or summer, you would probably go original vetiver over the Royal Water? Yeah. Okay, yeah, got I it. Would. So we're moving up, seven out of 10 guys <laughs> for our original vetiver. We're gonna switch gears with something for a different season right after this. All right, guys, so we are here with a fragrance now for the number three spot that is going to be very much switching gears in terms of time of year for wear. Yeah. This one is not a good one for spring or summer. Mm -hmm. uh, you talked about that special occasions thing. I personally think this one also falls in the line of something you really need to be dressed to the nine. Yeah. You really look nice. I mean, the, the title is Royal Oud. Yeah. This is a very, very classy fragrance. What do you I think agree. of this one? Again, not an everyday one. Yeah. I feel like it would mostly like older men too. Yeah, this is, uh, some people call this a little like old school. Old guy, sure. <laughs> uh, confidence, confidence, dressed well. Yeah. You, if you, there's a very popular saying, if you don't wear this fragrance correctly, it will wear you. Yeah. You will smell odd that you shouldn't have this on. But, mm -hmm. worn appropriately, this is a banger. What do you think of this one? Yeah, I think it's good. It reminds me of like a old guy going to the bar. Like okay. Classy. Yeah. <laughs> so Oud, um, probably if you're not into fragrances, you've probably not heard a lot about this note. Mm -hmm. Oud is a extract from an arbor wood tree. It's okay. very expensive. It's one of the most expensive fragrance notes out there. This does Oud really well for like beginners because a lot of Oud is what people call animalic. It smells like dirty and like animal. This is a very nice soft wearable Oud. Um, so you like this one though. What yeah, would you I give do. this one out of 10? I think this one's an eight out of an eight ten. Out it's of really 10. good, but okay. you just can't. But use it with caution, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, heed that caution, heed that words. Um, World Oud is fantastic, but this one really needs a good occasion. You need to be dressed well to wear this one. Uh, but we're up to eight out of ten, so we'll see if our last four can be <laughs> an eight out of ten, and we'll have the next one here. All right, guys, so we are on to our fourth spot. This is going to be one that needs no introduction. It's one that everybody here knows and loves. I don't have a close up of this because this guy is just a decant. This is Creed Aventus. This is what people would call their flagship, their 
the most well known. They didn't quite put Creed on the map because they were popular before this one's creation. I believe it was 2010. But since then, Creed is Aventus. Aventus is what people are, I think, synonymous with Creed quality. What do you think about this guy? This is a really good one. It's definitely more masculine yeah. than the other ones we okay. were earlier. I think it's more everyday, but I don't know. I feel like these are so fancy. Yeah. It's never everyday. Sometimes so. it's hard when you spend so much money on it, I guess, to think of it as yeah. an everyday. Yeah. Try to get the price tag out of your mind and, and mm -hmm. more what the scent is itself. Um, a lot of people do, this is a great everyday wear. Some of the ones you've smelled before, maybe not so yeah. much. This is better for that kind of uh, situation for everyday. So Creed Aventus, this is a pineapple. This has birch to a little bit of woody uh, smokiness and apple. This is got vanilla. It's very complex. It's not one, the biggest note that people would say stands out in pineapple. Mm -hmm. um, but it's awesome. People go nuts over this. People are very interested in batch variations. They think batch from 2014 and 19 smell very different. People hunt these what they call holy grail batches. Um, so Creed Aventus, it is awesome, it is loved, you love it. Yeah, this is definitely a really good one. Okay, how does it stack up to your previous three? This has been the best one. The best one, okay, mm -hmm. Creed Aventus. <laughs> what do you think of this? Would you like this one on a guy? So you think yeah, this is masculine? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. What would you give this out of 10? I don't want to give away a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Okay, <laughs> but maybe I like an 8.5, a 9. I think a 9. Un until, what we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll do is at the end we'll revisit yeah. all of her fragrances. We'll have her smell them one good. more time and then we'll cut back and, and really mm -hmm. see what our winner is. So for now, <laughs> Creative Ventus, guys, is on top, like I'm sure a lot of you expected. So <laughs> we're gonna move on to our last three and see if the king can be dethroned. All right, guys, so we have gone through our first four and we have three fragrances left. This one here is a very, very popular offering. It's kind of what people would consider maybe the second or third best behind the Ventus. This is Silver Mountain Water. What do you think of this one? I like this one. It's definitely more like woods. Yeah, okay. masculine. So this one has uh, a lot of uh, watery notes. This has a green tea note. This is very everyday, I'd consider. Um, it's very good for spring and summer. Warm weather, uh, I'm sorry, cold weather might be a little bit difficult to wear. Yeah. Um, but one of their most popular offerings. I think it smells almost a little metallic. The silver mountain water really hits it well because it's very, very fresh, very, very good. Yeah. It almost reminds me of, like being in the woods, so I feel like you can yeah. stretch it in the Okay, absolutely. This one, it's got good longevity too. It's got good longevity. A lot of fresh fragrances, so yeah. ones that include a lot of citruses, a lot of watery notes, they don't last long. It's hard to get them to last because those kind of notes are very fleeting. This one has pretty good longevity projection for that. So, what do we think of Creed Silver Mountain Water? I think I get this Not as eight. good an event as, but good. Yeah, okay. an eight. I Sticking at an eight, okay. So we'll have all the uh, scores for all the fragrances down below. We'll tally them up at the end, but for now, Silver Mountain Water is close to the top. We got two more, guys. All right, guys, for our number six spot here, we have got another decant. This is one I don't own a full bottle of at the moment, although I'm sure that will change before too long. Mm -hmm. This is another staple crowd pleaser from Creed. This is Green Irish Tweed. I'll put a picture of the bottle for the ones that or decant, so you guys can, if you've never heard of them, see the bottle. So, give me your thoughts on Green Irish Tweed. This is a good one. It smells really clean. Yeah. This is like, if I picture somebody who would wear this, this is like a George Clooney on the red carpet yeah. with a suit. Mm -hmm. Very, very masculine. You can yeah. be very confident to wear this. It's different in the way Royal Oud is very in your face. Well, mm -hmm. this is much more, I know what I want. I'm confident. People need to fight for my attention. I'm very classy. That's what I get from this fragrance, and a lot of people agree. It takes a very masculine man to pull up Green Irish yeah. Tweed. Um, what would you give this one out of 10? I think I'm going to go with a 7 for a seven. this one, just because I don't think I could see a lot of people pulling it off. Correct. Um, there's actually been a lot of videos out there talking about like different fragrances for celebrities and different yeah. people, and this one is reserved for those who can wear it properly. So, mm -hmm. Green Irish Tweed, guys, I'll throw a picture up, like I said, so you guys can see what it looks like. Very, very highly popular uh, one from Creed, and we're going to see our last one and find out our results. All right, guys, so we are rounding out my personal list of seven awesome creeds with our seventh option here. This is Virgin Island Water, AKA some people call this summer in a bottle. Very, very good for warm weather. Cold weather would ruin this fragrance. You gotta wear this with some board shorts, with some swim trunks and some flip flops. Uh, absolutely awesome summer fragrance. What do you think of this one? It reminds me of the beach. Okay, that's an absolutely yeah. accurate description. <laughs> Uh, that's probably, you've, you've got coconut, you've got lime. Mm -hmm. This smells a little bit maybe like a pina colada. This yeah. smells like this would be great uh, to have a drink in your hand on the warm sunny beach. Uh, yeah. Would you like this one on a man? Because some people will call this one a little bit feminine, maybe very unisex. I really think the only time would be with baby. 
vacation. Vacation, okay. Yeah. So maybe not an every day, yeah, but a special sure. occasion in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how does it stack up to your previous six? I think just because I don't think you can wear it as much, I'd say it's a six. A six, okay. Cool, so Virgin Island Water is a summer favorite. Yeah. It's very, very popular. Coconut, lime, fresh, watery notes. Super, super popular, but it's like, it is absolutely restricted to the spring and summer. And even like you said, beaches, vacations, white open button shirt, mm -hmm. stuff like that, that's really needed. This might be tough to wear at the grocery store, jeans and yeah, t-shirt. This sure. might be a little odd, <laughs> so Virgin Island Water, that is our seventh choice, guys. Those are the creeds that I own. Kelly has now gotten her uh, nose on all seven. We are gonna cut away, we're gonna have her revisit all seven. I have the tester strips here, and we're gonna get her final verdict and see who our winner is today. So make sure not to miss it. All right, guys, so we are back. We have sat down, we've smelled all seven test strips again, just to make sure we really had a good idea on what Kelly's favorite was. Uh, so does Creed as a house, as a whole, what do you think of the fragrance line? Did you enjoy smelling all of yeah, these? Yeah, definitely okay. good. Yeah, absolutely. For the price tag, I'm sure you'd hope it would be. Again, Creed, kind of the reputation precedes them. They're awesome as far as everybody, you're just not going to find a bad Creed fragrance. There might be some that you don't like more than others, but it's hard to find a bad one. So we like the house, uh, but our winner today had to be Creed Aventus, guys. Creed Aventus, it's really no shock that it's so likable. It's, you're not gonna find a bad, unpleasant fragrance that gets such a cult following as this one. If anybody was curious, this is 17U01. Match-wise, I'll put that down in the description and also at the bottom of the video. I know those numbers and letters mean nothing to you. <laughs> um, it's a certain batches that people really find that are different than others. 17 U01 though caught Kelly's attention and she loved it. This is our winner. So I hope you guys found this video informative and can use it to maybe basis uh, of your next free purchase. Uh, see if you want to follow in Kelly's footsteps or maybe use one of the others that you uh, she checked out in this video and see what you think of them. So I want to thank you guys for joining me here at Sense by Sean. I want to thank my lovely cousin Kelly for being here. Thank you so much. Hope you had fun. Maybe give you some uh, ideas for future clones for boyfriends yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> I got enough money. <laughs> absolutely. We'll, 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 we'll hook you up. Um, so again, if you guys like today's content, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Keep uh, checking back in and uh, you'll be notified as long as you hit that bell icon of whenever I post. We have tons more awesome content planned. Uh, and I want to thank you guys for watching today. Keep on smelling great and have a good one.